Uh, politicians have an absolutely crucial role in, in driving uh, universal health coverage. Um, I think one of the most important things they should be doing is, is talking to the population about what their hopes and needs are for health services for themselves and, and their family. And I'm sure that if they were to take the time to do that, they would find that health and access to health services is extremely important for households all across Nigeria. Because at the moment, with, in the absence of decent public financing, uh, people are having to pay for services in drug shops and, and uh, shop around in the private sector, getting very bad quality services, and it's impoverishing millions of Nigerians every year. So I think the first thing is for politicians to really understand what people need and then remedy this through decent universal health coverage reforms. Around the world, we're seeing that this isn't a good way to reach universal health coverage, um, basically because um, only rich people can afford um, health insurance and poor people get left out. And health insurance companies are not making very good purchases of services. Um, they, they don't get good deals with the, the private um, hospitals that they have contracts with, and it's very difficult to regulate them. The only way to get a truly universal system where the healthy subsidise the sick and the rich subsidise the poor is through a public system that forces wealthy people to pay higher contributions. I think what we should be trying to encourage, and civil society has a big role in this, is creating some degree of sort of political competition amongst leaders. You know, to, to really praise the leaders that, that are uh, extending healthcare to their, their population and to try to sort of create competition maybe within states or within senators, uh, you know, to see who can do the best job. And of course, what one's really looking for is a national leader to take universal health coverage seriously. Because what you find is that countries across the world that have made the transition, you can often name the politician and the year in which the transition took place. Personally, it really does go back to stories my mother told me about the UK before the Second World War, when growing up in a poor household in Manchester, she remembered the fights that her parents used to have um, about whether they could access health services or not and how uh, fearful the, the family was when anyone fell sick. But when the National Health Service you know, sort of came into fruition in, in 1948, that people were really celebrating that anyone could go to a doctor at any time and get the services they need. So even as a young boy, I remember my mother telling me this story about how wonderful that was. And then it's been my privilege in, in, in my career to, to work in countries that have made that transition. And you can see what a wonderful gift that is to, you know, to people across the world. So I, I very, made, very much made it my intention to work on this internationally. And I'm sure that Nigeria will make that transition at some point. What's missing in many countries has been the political will and leadership. And you might say that the only way that the, sort of the politicians will, will act on this is if they recognise it's in their self-interest to do this. And that really requires the electorates talking to politicians and, and saying, if you introduce universal health coverage for us, we will vote for you. You know, this is, this is what we expect of our, 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 our politicians. And I think, you know, that's the big step. And I think organisations like Nigeria Health Watch are doing great work in, in working with civil society organisations, pitching it to politicians that they should introduce universal health coverage, and it being a social contract really between the people and the political leaders to say, if you bring this to us, we will vote for you, and therefore, um, you know, sort of UHC being as a, seen as a route to power in Nigeria.